All right, welcome to the next installment of Shmoda Pro. I think uh, what we'd like to go over today is just some light combat. Um, I am by no means a badass combat pilot, but I, I can uh, show you the basics. We've woken up here at Everest Harbor, which is where we went after we left Lorville. We're going to choose... Uh, this is one of the starter ships. Now, when you guys are doing the free fly, you'll probably have access to a lot more ships. But when you, if you buy the game or you decide to keep playing, you'll probably be in a starter ship. This is about the closest thing I've got to one. And so what we'll do is we'll go out here and get in our ship. And Hurston is probably the best area to get into some uh, light. PVE combat. Um, when I say light, I'll show you on the uh, missions. Uh, what's it called? Uh, calling it now the contract manager. What I mean by that? When we get in the ship. Uh, it's, it's more fun to do this with a friend. You guys can share missions. Uh, it splits the amount. Combat doesn't pay a whole lot right now, but um, it's not bad um, if you do enough of it. And if you select the right missions and, and, and do your... Uh, kill your contract first, you can get paid for a double mission. I'll show you what I mean. In. Mm, look at that. Oh, look, canopy. She closed and we still got in. It's magic. Press R, fire it up. Aegis, Systems, now, a lot of times, what we'll do if we're going to do PvP, we'll overcharge the shields, overclock the shields, and possibly overclock the weapons. We don't need to really worry about that for these PvE missions. Go to our contract manager, and the first thing I want to do. So I want to go to Mercenary and pick Call to Arms. Attention. Please come to an immediate halt. Let me wait. Hold this for your moron to talks to us. Okay. Um, what this will do is allow you to gain uh, AUEC for killing all the ships around that are protecting your bounty. Um, so when I say light combat, let's pick a CS1. Crime stat 1. I mean, is there not as proficient? Um... These are players. You want to stay away from those if you're new, because you're going to be doing PvP, and a lot of these, most, a lot of these You'll guys are probably decent. Some aren't. Just depends. But we'll choose a CS1. Accept it. I see it tracked it right there. And if I look at our accepted missions, it doesn't show the mercenary mission that I wanted to take. Call to arms. Because I probably didn't accept it. But you want to track this your bounty hunter mission okay let's go into our I should have stayed in the menus sometimes you have to click around to get this to pop up hopefully they have that fixed by the time the free fly comes up there's our mission rendezvous beacon we'll set the route taking us to Ita and then it'll triangulate us over to the surprise spot Okay, let's get off the pad. Pay no attention to the canopy. It's one of the bugs you'll have to get used to. They haven't fixed it since I've been playing the game. Some some patches will be fixed, and then the next patch will be screwed up again. So it is annoying, but get used to it. Quantum over to Ita, which is the moon around Hurston. You can stay in the Hurston area for all these missions. That's what's good about these. All right. Now, since we since we plotted straight to our uh, rendezvous point, you should have. It's, it's got a waypoint set for us. So hit B. Spool it up and fire it off. Now you'll show up in the area. 
You're gonna fly towards your. Okay, we've already got a contact. Notice how my I put my speed limiter just above SCM speed, which is just above the red line. It's gonna leave you more control. Now these weapons I have are not gimbaled, which means I'm gonna have they're fixed, so I'm gonna have to actually do my follow pip. That's that square right there. Now what you want to try to do is get a, either above or below so that they're a, a flat target. It's called pancaking. Crap! That wasn't me. And then it should give you bounty amount, 1500 AUEC. Now, if we go to a Crime Stat 2 mission, he should, he should have, the, the bounty should, will probably have um, a little, another, like a little group of guys with another more NPCs, which means you'll get the bounty plus whatever you kill, but you need to kill the bounty first in order to get uh, the max amount of money out of it. If that makes any sense at all. You see how the star map, the skyline map, isn't popping up, so I have to keep kind of scrolling through. And if it doesn't pop up for you, just come out, see where it wants you to go. You might be able, you might be able to find a uh, what they call an outer marker for the moon to get closer to it. able to do. Pop back in. Use your mouse wheel to try and get it to scroll. And this is one of the things I like to show people um, when we do these instructional videos is that it's not always going to work perfectly since we're in an alpha game. So sometimes you'll have to fly straight to it. Top, you can hit your cruise control and just let it take you there. It's not that far away, so we can just fly straight to it. Like I said, hopefully they'll have that skyline map uh, fixed by the time we get to the 311 one. And they always put you in a little cluster of asteroids to fight these guys. So something to be mindful of when you're doing these is you're going to have to dodge around the asteroids a little bit. If you keep your speed down below the red line or right above it, you should be able to handle any asteroids that come your way and move away from them. But once you start getting full speed, you're going to, you're going to drift right into an asteroid while you're fighting. This ship has EMP on it, um, which I'm leaving off for now. Use that to disable instrumentation. Uh, this causes malfunctions in the other ship. It also knocks your shields down a little bit, but usually doesn't affect you that much. This is a pretty fast ship, um, so if you're if you're flying uh, something you know that doesn't make it over a thousand meters per second, it may take you a while to get out and do 200 kilometers. So that may not be something you want to do. Something else you might want to do too, and I'll slow down a little bit so we can talk about that. Is when you're in your ship, 
into these. Go to your guns under this right here. We're gonna point my arrow. And make sure that all your guns are on the same firing uh, group. I like, in this particular ship, I like them to all be on the same fire group. If we have two different types of weapons, sometimes you can split them up between your uh, left and right mouse button to control the type of damage you want to put out. But most of the time, I'll just leave uh, everything on the same firing group which is, this is your firing group. I can change it to one or zero. Zero being the left mouse, one being the right mouse. If you're using a mouse, keep working. Now this uh, flight system, ha or this, these ships have a space brake on them, which is X basically just like a reverse thrust, and it will overheat your engines if you hold it down too much. It's just like using the boost, which is shift. So be mindful of overheating. Some ships overheat faster than others. Especially if you start taking damage. This is a crime stat too, so we're hoping that he's got some buddies with him. And I'll use the T key, and I'll target my main target first. And then uh, move on to the uh, the secondary targets, which will be whoever is correcting the main target once we neutralize it. Now there's a bunch of other keys you can use uh, in the game. There's other ways you can. Uh, you can lock targets and bind them. The terminology is... It's really... Uh, too many complex keystrokes for Nears to start now. He's either... He's gonna be behind this... Behind it or right stuck inside on the asteroid itself. Sometimes they're a little glitched out. Looks like he's gonna be just behind it. So we'll just... Drift over a little bit. I'm going to select him first. You can see at the top. Press my T key. Hopefully he's got a buddy because that way we'll have make more points. Make more money out of it. Yeah, there's his buddy. So we'll dispatch him. Now try to, when you do this, you want to not fly in a straight line toward them, because a lot of times they'll try to ram you. And you'll see we'll get extra points for that guy. So we'll get 500 for killing him for the call to arms we chose, and then we'll get the main mission, which we should have already, should have probably already showed up while we were talking. So those are your two, the CS1 and the CS2. And as you go up to CS3, what that little light is, CS3 and as you go up to CS3s uh, and 4s, you'll have more targets to deal with. And as you can see, the star map is still not going to work for us. So we can press B. And see what it gives us. Depending on where we're located. Oh, here's the pilot. And see if it gives us uh, a route to see Aberdeen, the other moon. And there's Everest. So this is interesting. I'm glad this happened. So, but sometimes a caterpillar will show up, and a friendly caterpillar will be attacked by other ships, other pirates. So what we would go in here and do, since we have called our arms chosen, we can go out here and actually kill these other targets. Not a mission, 
but since we have called arms chosen, um, we can get points for that. mouse wheel, if you press straight down on the center mouse, on your mouse wheel, um, that's how you lock your targets. And these pips, which is what I'm trying to hit, are crazy with the NPCs. They are all over the place. Sometimes it's very difficult to hit. So as long as we stick around this caterpillar, which is I'm guessing what this is right here, I might be able to pick up. No, it's not a caterpillar. I'm wondering what this or was that. It's a mantis, but it's an NPC, friendly. So sometimes if you stick around these friendly ships, uh, some uh, enemy ships, Nine Tails, which is an enemy faction. PvE faction will show up. something and it won't let you go when you hold the B button down, just drop down with the spool complete still in act, uh, with your engine still spooled, come back up on target, sometimes it'll let you. Okay, it's not going to let us, so I'll take it out of Quantum, and we'll go this Quantum to Hurston instead of Everest Harbor. That was a quick introduction uh, to some light combat. Just kind of get your sea legs. somewhat helpful. Like I said, I, combat is not my forte in this game, but uh, I enjoy it. And I hope that helped you guys out. Have a good one. SK out!